Hello students, in this video, uh, we'll be discussing about uh, the computation of corporate tax for the ACC ATX exam. So let's move to the requirement first. So first requirement says that calculate uh, the retro limited tax adjusted trading loss for the year ended March 2017. Your computation should commence with the loss before tax figure of 1,20,000. It has been given there. And should list all of the items in note 1 to 5, indicating by the use of zero in the item which do not require adjustment. So the first part is a tax adjusted trading loss question. In the next part, we have to identify the loss relief available. And in the third part, we have to identify the amount of unrelieved loss and we have to state how this can be relieved. So it's a 15 marks constructive response question and for which I, we have a Excel response sheet. So let's move to the question. This is the question. This scenario relates to free requirements. Retro limited summarized statement of profit and loss for the year ended March 2017 is given below. So as we have to identify the uh, tax adjusted trading loss for the year, let's put a heading here, tax adjusted trading loss. So we'll start from uh, loss before tax and that is given as uh, minus 1 lakh 20,000. Now first entry is uh, the operating expense. The first one is depreciation and we know that depreciation is not an allowable expense so we have to add back depreciation 27240. The second one is uh, a gift and donation note number one. So we have to move to note number one. There are many gifts Gifts to employee food hamper costing 60 pound each gift to employee. Now gift to employee is always allowable irrespective of what is the gift, what is the amount. So you have to write zero. Similarly gift to customer for which you have to see the condition. What is the, what is the cost? It is less than 50 pound and displaying the retro's name. So this gift is allowable to give to customer is also allowable in our example. Now afterward uh, we have uh, political donation of 420. What is the rule? So political donation is a disallowed one. So we have to write the amount and QCD. QCD we have to add it back. Why? The reason is that QCD is to be shown in the main pro forma. So if QCD has been deducted from the tax adjusted trading profit computation, you have to add it back and then deduct from the main pro forma. Now afterwards we have impairment loss. Point number two. On 31st March, Retro Limited wrote off an impairment loss related to a trade debt. So this is an impairment loss An impairment loss. If it's uh, related to trade, then it is an allowable expense. Put zero here. The next one is leasing cost. The leasing cost is 4,400 in respect of a motor car, which commenced on 1st April 2016. The motor car has a CO2 emission of 145 gram per kilometer. It's a high emission car. So in case of leasing costs, if it's a high emission car, then 15% of the amount is disallowed. So we have to add it back. How much? 15% amount is disallowed. The other expense figure after leasing comprises of a fine of 5,000 for a breach of health and safety regulation. Only fine related to the car parking is allowed so fine is disallowed 5100 and then a legal fee in connection with the defense of internet domain name so that legal fee 
for internet domain name is allowed. All other expenses are allowable. Now, what is interest payable? Finance cost is deducted from this 6,400. We have to check the amount of finance cost and we have to check that whether this interest is part of the main pro forma or the this format. The interest payable in respect of the company's 5% loan note, which were repaid on 31st July 2016. Interest of 9,600 was paid on 31st July. Accrual was 3,200. So interest was paid 9,600 and the opening accrual was uh, 3,200. This is used to finance the trading activity. Now, if uh, interest uh, is uh, beginning balance accrual was 3,200 and 9,600 in the cash balance. So the profit and loss account will be the same as uh, this one interest payable 6,400. There is a difference between interest expense. It is the difference between 9,600 that is the amount received and 3,200 that is the amount at the beginning of the year. So as it is allowed, so put zero here. Now after that we have to deduct capital allowances and capital allowances working is needed. Let's move to working. This is the capital allowance portion at the beginning of the year. The tax written down value was 39,300 of the main pool. Motor car one was purchased. Motor car delivery van was purchased. Motor car two was purchased. So we have to put a working here of uh, capital allowances. Let me put it here. Capital allowances. So there is capital allowances working. Now check we have main pool motor car one CO2 is more than 110 gram motor car two is 66. So we have uh, a main pool. Similarly, we have uh, a special pool item and then we have a third column of allowance. Okay, so TWDV brought forward opening balance 39,300. This is the opening balance. Now we have uh, addition. So you can see that uh, first addition is uh, delivery van. Delivery van cost is uh, 28,300. And this delivery van is eligible for AIA. AIA limit is 1 million. So the whole 28,300 is allowable for AIA. Now I have to write it here. This one. Okay. And there is a zero. So afterward we have uh, car one car one CO2 says that it's a special pool item. So 14,700 is transferred to special pool car two says that 66 more than 50 gram. So it's part of main pool and it's 12,400. This question is uh, based on uh, the 16, 17 year, but I'm solving this question with respect to FA 19, considering that it's a question is based on FA 19 rules. So this is the, now everything is done. There is no disposal at all. So let's find out the total of the main pool. So the total of the main pool is this one. 5,700 just in line here and uh, a special pool you can just pull it here and now we have uh, make it bold now we have uh, 
डब्ल्यू डी ए हाउ मच एटीन परसेंट फॉर द मेन पुल सो इज इक्वल टू दिस अमाउंट मल्टीप्लाय बाय पॉइंट वन एट एंड फॉर दिस वी हैव डब्ल्यू डी वी ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट एंड हेयर इज this amount and here you can see this allowance this allowance so here it's t w d v carried forward so and identify the carried forward balance here so for carried forward you can put minus here so you can just like minus here you can just put minus here now in order to correct this put minus here and put minus here. check the sign now this is the value so we have uh, this sum minus this and do this figure so we have uh, this sum drag it down and uh, here we have uh, so this is the twdv carried forward balance now total allowance and you can see total allowance is is equal to sum first is aia 2wdv but here is a problem problem is that uh, this is in minus so we have to change this to make it in plus is equal to sum so this is the value of capital allowances now we have to put this capital allowance here but in minus so is equal to minus and select this so here is the value minus capital loss now this is the tax adjusted trading loss figure so tax adjusted loss now calculate the sum from this figure so you can see there is a loss of now we have to calculate the tax adjusted trading loss we have completed this tax adjusted trading loss now the next part says that uh, claim loss relief as early as possible against 31st august 2015 and for the seven month period 31st march 2016 so you can see that uh, before this year we have year ended 31st august 2015 and before that we have uh, first period ended is 31st march 2016 so in between you can see that uh, this period is of uh, september october november december jan feb march seven months so we have a carry back rule of 12 month so let me just put a pro forma here it's loss relief so here let me just put the value 31st august 2015 and here is 31st march 2016 so this is a period of uh, 
seven months and this is a period of 12 months okay so tax adjusted profit in the previous period we have tax adjusted profit of five six six double zero in the seven month period is forty seven thousand nine hundred and we have uh, bank interest that is thirteen hundred there it's zero so total profit here we have uh, plus this is the total profit so this is the total profit now current year is uh, a loss that is 1 lakh 24,388 and we have to show the working here so a loss memorandum let me just put a loss memorandum here the loss memorandum so loss is this one This is the loss. Now we can offset it from here. So you can see that uh, in current year there is no income. So we have uh, carry back. So first of all, we will use this 47,900 complete from this, making it zero. So 31st. March 2016 we have deduct we have deduct this 47,900 and uh, the remaining loss now as you can see that uh, this is uh, seven month we have completed now we have remaining five months for the last 12 month carry back facility so we have to use this 57900 is of 12 month so we have to just make it time a portion 31st august 2015 and here we have to make it's 5 by 12 so we have to select profit and its profit is 5 divided by 12 so how much you can offset you can only offset 24125 so this 24125 is offset from here and now we have uh, unrelieved loss available so is equal to sum yes the figure is so you can see the figure and that is the unrelieved loss available is five two three six three now this uh, is the unrelieved loss and we have uh, what was the requirement assuming taxable total profit so we have to calculate taxable total profit ttp so we have to identify the profit after loss profit after relief so here you, here you can use the some function and you can use the sum function okay now deduct QCD is 540 and the next one is 330 so this is TTP 
and ttp is this is ttp and here ttp is no there is no ttp available so qcd is zero and you can put that is zero So you can see that uh, we have uh, used the loss from the seven month period and the carry back possibility of the five month. And from the profit, we have deducted QCD. That QCD is, instead we can write, this is vested. Okay, so this is the amount of working of unrelieved loss. No. In the next requirement, the next requirement says that identify the amount of unrelieved loss and state how this can be relieved. So the amount of unrelieved loss. Let me just. So, unrelieved loss. So. is the value is equal to unrelieved loss this is the unrelieved loss so this is the unrelieved lot loss part c and then they asked that uh, how we can get uh, this unrelieved loss is to be carried forward against TTP against total profit before QCD of the future years. So this is the answer of part C. So in this way, a 15 mark question has been completed.